So in this demo, I want to talk a little bit about block insertion points and how you can adjust them if they're not where you want them to be. So I have an example here of a block that's in this drawing. And when I select it, you can see the insertion point for it is down here. And I would really like it to be at the corner of the door where it would meet the wall. Now to change this uh, for a block within the drawing, I can just go into the, my block editor. So I'm going to double click on my door, click OK. And then what I can do is I can go into my authoring palette and look at parameters and I can put in a base point. And I can place my base point where I want the insertion point to be. And then I just have to save my block and close my block editor. Now you can see the block has moved and the insertion point is now um, where I want it to be. A word of caution though, if you've already got the block in a bunch of different locations and you do this, it's going to move all your blocks around. So let's see what happens now if I just insert this block again to make sure that it keeps that information. Yes, you can see that now it is uh, the insertion point is where I want it to be. So I would recommend using this method when you have a block but you haven't populated your drawing with it, or at least not very many times. Now, the other case that may come up is if you have a write block that you've created in your block library, and when you bring it in, and let's try bringing one in here, let's bring in this private office. Okay, so I've got this um, furniture for a private office, and you can see my insertion point doesn't make a whole lot of sense. It's kind of off to the side. Now, I could go in and modify it like I just did, or if I want to make a more permanent fix to my block in my block library, and let me just undo this, what I can do is open that file. So I'm going to browse to where my block library is. I'm going to open my private office 6x8, and what I want to do is I'm going to change the insertion point by typing in I-N-S-B-A-S-E. And then what I can do is simply select a new location. So now let me save the drawing. I'm going to close it and I'm going to go back to my drawing and I'm going to insert that block again. and you can see now it's going to insert it with that new insertion point. So I recommend if you have a block library, go through and check and see what your insertion points are and you can make that permanent um, update. But if you have a block that's just local to the drawing, you can do it simply by using the block editor.